Hello everybody, this is Fred, Morgan on the iPad, and of course I think some of you know we're new beekeepers. So two days ago I installed the bees in this little cage, and you'll see it in a minute, and that's what I have to take out. And we're going to check to see also if the queen has come out of her cage. But first we're going to take a little smoke, if this thing is still smoking, calm them down a little bit. Oop, I'm out of smoke. Oh well, we're going to go without smoke. How we do. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the lid off. And if you, Morgan, you come over here and you'll be able to see inside of here, this little container has sugar water. And that's what they eat before they have pollen and nectar from the trees and flowers. This gives them energy so they can pull the comb and then the queen can start laying. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this off so I can get down into the hive itself. I'm just going to set this right over here for a second. Just like that, nice and easy. Now look down in here. Okay, see this little box? This is where they, what they came in originally. So I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to see if the queen got out of her cage okay. And that's right down here. Hang on, let me get my tweezer things. I'll move this frame out of the way a little bit. They're looking really good. This is great. Okay, she should be right in here. We'll have to see if she still is or if she is out. Okay, this is what the queen came in. And they chew out that little bit of, it's called a sh uh, little cube of like sugar. And is she out of there? Hard to say, let me see. I hope she's out of there. The queen didn't come marked, so it's kind of hard to tell. I think she's probably gone and out of there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, just to be sure. I'm going to take this off. So I can be sure that she's out of there, and I believe she is, because these are all just worker bees. They're small worker bees. Okay. I'll just toss that over there for a second. And I'll show you the comb that they're building. Let's see if you can see it here. See the honeycomb? That's what they have to pull out and build so that the queen can start laying eggs. And I'm looking down in here and I don't quite see the queen. She's probably underneath everything in there. Well, we'll come back another time and check to be sure that she's down in there laying, but I'm sure she is. So now we'll put these frames back in. And then I have Four more that go in. And this is the way they start. They're just playing with nothing on them. I'm going to gently set these in here so I don't squish any of these girls. The majority of these are all worker bees, which is what you mostly get. And after the queen lays, it takes about 21 to 24 days for the new bee to hatch. And this whole box is called the uh, brood box. This is where the queen grows the hive. And once this is all full of brood, then we'll put another box on top the same size. Then all the bees come up and she continues to grow the hive. And then the third box is called a honey super, and that's where they store all their excess honey. And we will probably won't get any honey this year because they need to keep that honey to get them through the winter time. So next year, we'll take all the excess honey, and that's what you guys will get for Christmas. So, here we go with all of this. Frames are back in. I'm gonna gently try to get as many of these bees off of here and down into there as I can. Most of them are out. But what I'll do now is I'll take this box, and this goes right through the mail, see? There's the old shipping label right there. 
And I'll set this right out here like this. And it's hard to see down in the front, we have just one small hole, one opening right there. Little tiny opening. Until the hive gets big enough, the bees can't take the time to protect it from intruders. So you start with a very small opening. This is called a reducer. And once the hive gets bigger, then you go ahead and you make the hole a little bigger. You just swap that around and you get a little bigger one. So then the bees will sit out here and attack and keep away any bees and things that shouldn't be around. So let's go ahead and try and get a lot of those down in there. And there's a drone. That's a big one right there. There's a drone. You can see this guy. Probably too hard to see. And let's see. We're doing okay on sugar water. I probably should have brought it with me and I forgot to, to refill it. And this goes back down on top. Trying not to crush any, of course. But every once in a while, you'll get one or two. Hard to avoid it. That goes on top. This is called the inner cover. Oops, it's grass in here. So anyway, that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and put some more sugar water in here later today. And we'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching. And the next time we open it up, I'll bring you back again. Bye.